in the, in this field. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Koichi Masuda Jaxa, and today I'd like to uh, introduce overview of uh, the Jaxa's uh, open space science data effort, um, including, including the uh, space science data archive system and uh, for public and space education activity. Actually, I think uh, the, my presentation shows uh, one of a real field work result uh, to make uh, open data to transparent uh, one, uh, which presented uh, before by uh, Dr. Uh, Giomini. So um, we have a uh, data archive called uh, DARTS, uh, which is uh, providing uh, the open science data, including uh, space astronomy and the solar system uh, science data. Though the, those data was uh, obtained by many science satellites such as X-ray astronomy, infrared telescope, and solar astronomy, Earth uh, magnet uh, total, and the, the also mag uh, microgravity science uh, from Kibo as listed uh, here. Uh, that contributes to uh, provide science data uh, not only for researchers, but also the people uh, all over the world. Uh, from the DART, uh, people can get uh, actual uh, satellite data, uh, but it is not easy uh, to apply uh, educational area. So uh, following, uh, uh, following a part of this uh, presentation, uh, as our effort to promote open science data uh, public use, I focus uh, as an example of a Kaguya data uh, application to education materials. Our jobs as educational activity are handled by the Space uh, Education Center of JAXA. The key mission of the, uh, of the center is to use uh, the space materials to have a positive impact to the uh, mind of young people in their development process. So we support ed educators and children. So to uh, achieve our goals, uh, we uh, divided, divided four uh, categories, uh, formal education support, uh, informal education support, and home education support and international activities. Uh, the formal education support is for teachers and school children in classroom teaching. Informal one is one out of the formal uh, classroom teaching. Uh, as an example, um, a school, uh, school plans special events to invite JAXA staff uh, to, uh, to motivate uh, children. JAXA also support the home education and international uh, activity within the framework of uh, International Space Education Board and uh, APR staff and so on. So we developed the educational materials uh, with uh, the Kaguya data. Uh, so let me introduce uh, what Kaguya is at first. Uh, Kaguya is a remote sensing orbital satellite to observe the uh, moon which was uh, launched uh, in 2007 uh, with uh, 15 instruments, including a uh, uh, train camera, uh, multi board, uh, uh, multi band uh, image camera, a laser ultimate, and so on. Kaguya tried to reach to make uh, clear the origin of the moon and its uh, geological uh, evolution. Kagea got much uh, information of lunar surface environment and the major uh, moon gravity precisely. So uh, Kagea finished uh, with its m mission complete and controlled to go down on the moon on June uh, 2009. 
Uh, from this page, uh, uh, let me uh, introduce the way to use uh, Kaguya data in education materials. The first item is for teachers. Uh, recently, active learning, I'm not sure this word is uh, familiar to your uh, countries, but uh, we call the active learning method uh, is to be uh, famed uh, within the educational community in Japan. <laughs> Next, uh, which is uh, one of uh, Japanese uh, uh, government ministry uh, covering uh, the uh, educations, will uh, start to adopt uh, the active learning uh, to education guideline. JAXA collaborated with uh, Shimane University, uh, and we developed a, a challenging active <laughs> learning material with Kavya data. This material is to uh, lead teachers at the educational uh, field how uh, they teach active learning. In this material, uh, finding, appro uh, uh, finding appropriate site for moon long-term uh, habitation is a subject. This method makes children uh, investigate uh, moon environment comparing the, the Earth and think, it, think up uh, where is the best spot uh, to build a moon base and make them, makes them uh, imagine the life on the moon with Kaguya data. Also uh, trying to make think children uh, what is uh, happen on a picture uh, taken by Kaguya. For example, uh, the first row uh, question on this uh, uh, on this uh, page uh, it says, uh, "Where is the sun? Uh, Kaguya moving, Kaguya moving, or the Earth uh, moving? And whether uh, Kaguya is uh, on the moon or above the moon?" So teaching uh, knowledge to children is a prior and current major uh, method uh, this, uh, at school, but the active learning method makes uh, children think what they can uh, with their original imagination and thoughts. Here, the point, is, uh, uh, the point is that it is not very important whether their answer is incorrect or not. Oh, uh, this is the other material which uh, to let uh, the children makes a moon crater uh, by themselves. Recently, a 3D printer is getting a measure, and uh, even school will reach to buy it uh, near future. JAXA provides uh, 3D data, uh, which is uh, SDL, uh, common uh, 3D printer data, uh, of creators to make a plaster model. Uh, Plaster model is uh, easy to handle for children and also very cheap. Uh, children is attracted uh, to make creators themselves and make them hold right uh, so enjoy to study how moon shadow uh, shapes and how to provide a shade. This material has uh, another typical feature. It is for visually uh, imper impaired uh, people. We are uh, collaborated with a blind school, uh, use a 3D uh, model to touch them uh, with the fingers, then it support to understand the moon surface. And we have uh, got a good uh, result which uh, this material effectively helps uh, 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 visually impaired uh, people. Today I bring uh, the actual sample here and uh, the, uh, please uh, see it if you are interested in. And also we uh, developed a Kaguya 3D moon navi called in, uh, so in Japan, in Japanese, but um, it's, uh, it's a 3D uh, GIS. Uh, for each uh, school, uh, uh, for each school grade of children, uh, three editions uh, are prepared for elementary school, uh, junior high school, and uh, high school. Uh, that is a um, Japanese education system. And a part of this uh, prepared another edition for general use too. This material can be used in the active learning lessons 
uh, to investigate uh, the moon surface uh, condition, for example. As I mentioned, we have uh, real, uh, realized uh, the some ideas to make uh, materials uh, from open science data, but only put them on the website, it, it won't work because users do not have uh, initiation and uh, the motivation with uh, just visiting the web website. It is very hard to make a, a website uh, to uh, totally make, make uh, people understand uh, what is uh, going to be uh, good f of their uh, materials, of those uh, materials. So JAX uh, uh, collaborated with the board of education in Japan and uh, tried to develop the materials uh, to, to actual field of the education. Japanese public schools belong to uh, a board of education established in each prefecture or uh, each city uh, designated by uh, ordinance. Uh, we planned to uh, we planned teachers training uh, curriculum and uh, developing uh, uh, to schools. At this time, uh, we are conducted to execute the uh, teachers training. But school principals' uh, commitment is required to uh, develop to uh, the school classes if uh, this material is to be used constantly. So at this time, whether uh, taking the career materials or not uh, depends on the teachers. On the other hand, uh, the teachers are very uh, busy and uh, no time to arrange the materials uh, not uh, accustomed uh, to their class. So uh, conclusions. Um, I introduced the, the uh, latest JAXA's uh, effort uh, to utilize uh, the open space data uh, in education area. I gave you uh, some materials examples and introduced uh, uh, of our approach to development. So I recognized that if we try to uh, provide something, uh, I have to understand what uh, they actually need. We have uh, something, what we want to give, but um, it doesn't mean what they want. Uh, so I think uh, if we want to contribute to other communities uh, with our data, with our data uh, we have to be uh, flexible for uh, them and uh, consider uh, well our activity for whom. So uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, your attention. Uh, that's all uh, from me. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, questions? Yes, please. Uh, who has the microphone? OK. Thanks. In, in, in another set of uh, European Commission funded projects, uh, we uh, had similar problems to the ones you were discussing uh, by um, um, using uh, the astronomical data virtu with virtual observatory standards to uh, go to the classrooms uh, at levels going from junior high school to um, undergraduates, roughly and training um, uh, teachers for that. It was not done by me, but, but by the project that was, I was in. And, um, I, and we experienced similar problems to, uh, to the ones um, you, you mentioned. Um, there is an additional uh, 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 s step hurdle that we need to overcome if we need to collaborate together with these sort of activities, which is the language. And language is not uh, is is not a trivial issue uh, because it needs translation. It needs translation by uh, efficient people uh, and people knowledgeable people. Plus uh, another difference, which is the difference that the school systems have. Uh, so if we go beyond 
a national activity, we, we need to take into consideration all this. Because, for example, uh, not necessarily all the uh, countries in Europe, imagine in the world, have the same level of knowledge, uh, scientific knowledge, uh, of, of their, their, their pupils. So this is one thing to be considered, I think, for in the discussion that we're going to have. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, uh, the, uh, I think the, uh, the next step is uh, the important point, and, uh, the, uh, but uh, the, in case of Japan, uh, the, uh, the classroom uh, is very uh, stuffed with uh, the uh, curriculum uh, arranged by the government. And the government uh, listed up the, uh, the uh, school children has to uh, finish at this, gra uh, this grade um, uh, the put, putting much. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the uh, actual real, uh, at the real field, uh, the teacher, teachers has been complaining about that <laughs> because uh, they cannot handle uh, uh, the crust, uh, their crust uh, with uh, what they want to uh, teach. So uh, it is very limited uh, time to uh, uh, spend, uh, uh, spend, spending uh, the using uh, science, uh, open science data actually currently. So I think the, uh, including the government has to uh, uh, support uh, and understand uh, what's going on actual uh, the field happens of course uh, the teachers and the children is very interested in in, in the the uh, science data from uh, space and they want to learn more but uh, no time actually uh, so i think at first uh, the we have to uh, make a solution for that then the the uh, the school headers uh, principals uh, can uh, could have uh, that the afford to uh, consider to uh, take take in the uh, the space uh, materials to the school. I think. Please, uh, the microphone. The microphone, please. Okay, eventually, please speak loudly. Thanks. We had the same challenge working with the sc individual schools uh, because the curriculum is so tight and so um, mm -hmm. disciplined. So we moved it up to the National Teachers Association and we work with them. We provide them the data, but they help convert it into a curriculum that then is pushed down to the center. So it gets through, it, it's an indirect way, but it seems to be working for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, indeed, I think that a uh, few key words uh, can be catched from this presentation. Thank you for the presentation. It is, I mean, education, imagination, and then the need uh, of a straight link to initiation of the user, at whichever is the level, taking into account the differences, of course. I have to say hello for, uh, for a while. I have a teleconference, but yes. we have a very good and resilient uh, chairmanship, so for the session, so. All right, thank you. Uh, hello, so we continue. My name is uh, Pepi Fabiano, and uh, uh, I, um, I work at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in the United States, and uh, I'm also the uh, chair uh, of the executive committee of the International Virtual Observatory Alliance. So, um, the next speaker here is Enrico Russo, who's uh, uh, the science and technical director of ASI, and is a telecommunication engineer, and has extensive experience in building science instrument and also telecommunication satellites. So. Please, Enrico. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if we can start with my presentation. You have to go. 